Without going into the story of King Lear, uh, Cordelia and Lear, separation is the word that comes to mind. They are together in the first scene, which is a catastrophe of Lear's making, really. And they only meet up very late on in the play. And this separation burns into Lear's soul. He loves his daughter Cordelia dearly and it was his folly that caused their separation. And this is torture for him. Give me the map there. And know that we have divided in three our kingdom, and it is our fast intent to shake all cares and business from our age, conferring them on younger strengths while we unburdened crawl toward death. Hello, I'm Rosanna Madalus. I'm a mezzo-soprano, and I flip between the characters of um, Cordelia, the Fool, Goneril, and Regan. Um, obviously, the parallels between Cordelia and the Fool are, are very explicit in Shakespeare's King Lear. Um, and this is, John Caskin has done an amazing job of sort of re-emphasizing this in The Shackled King. What says our second daughter? Our dearest Regan, speak. In the play, it's for real, of course. Leah is living through these experiences moment by moment, week by week, day by day. In, pre in this piece, it's all remembered. It's all recalled. And so I'm not living it minute by minute, and neither is Cordelia. We are talking to each other about it. We are uh, uh, reenacting those scenes in our memories. Nor sinned against than sinning. My wits begin to turn. Heart cold. I'm cold myself. Oh, look, look. A mouse. <laughs> oh, well flown bird. Eh? Goneril. They flattered me like a dog. Let me alone. Let me. It's, it's a very minimal staging and we've taken a Brechtian approach um, whereby I put on this beanie when I am the fool. Um, and of course many scholars for hundreds of years have questioned, is the fool real or imagined? This is a brave night to cool a courtesan. It's been really wonderful to write again for John Tomlinson um, and the challenge of taking Shakespeare and making a new work from it has been quite a journey. Uh, all the words are by Shakespeare but not in the right order. <clears throat> the scenes somehow sometimes are changed completely around so that uh, as John has explained we're in they're in prison but then they are remembering, and then the scene switches forward again to the prison. And being able to play with time through music uh, has been very exciting. And John's characterization of going from 
torment and rage to tenderness to final realization that the mistake he made in banishing Cordelia is an incredible human story. And I think John captures it perfectly. The writing embraces the full range from speaking to half singing and speaking to Sprechgesang to full lyrical aria. Um, so we have the most extreme sonoristic sound effects to quite tonal music. Uh, and also, particularly at the end, with the final violin lament uh, of a real folkloristic kind of playing. And I think this, this range of music uh, mirrors, I hope, the range of emotions in the drama itself. Blow winds and crack your cheeks! <laughs> Rage blow! Cataracts and hurricanes! Spout to be drenched our steeples! Drown in the tops! You sulfurous and thought executing fires! Thought carriers of old cleaning thunderbolts! Singe my white head! And thou, all shaking thunder! 